as ever a capacity crowd in North London of around 38,000. OK, let's check out the team news. No Dennis Bergkamp in Arsenal's lineup. He was injured in that bad-tempered match at Old Trafford. And Sol Campbell is still on compassionate leave following the sudden death of his father. Sylvain Wiltor, who scored the winning goal in the corresponding game last season, replaces Bergkamp in attack, while the Ivory Coast international Colo Toure continues to deputise for Campbell in defence. All six players facing an FA inquiry are included in this lineup. 4-4-2 for the Gunners as usual, and it's a formation designed for attacking football. Long gone are the days of boring, boring Arsenal and those narrow 1-0 wins. Defence has been sacrificed in favour of entertainment and goals. A major blow for Newcastle is the loss of England international central defender Jonathan Woodgate, who's likely to be out for six weeks because of injury. His place goes to the Irish international Andy O'Brien. Alberto Solano is another casualty, but his absence is offset by the return of Lee Bowyer, who couldn't play in that UEFA Cup game in midweek because he's currently serving a six-game European ban. Bobby Robson goes for youth in midfield, combining Kieran Dyer with Jermaine Genus. Gary Speed drops down to the subs bench. Newcastle will also play 4-4-2. Laurent Robert operates as usual on the left of midfield, where he caused Arsenal a lot of problems in Newcastle's 3-1 victory at Highbury two years ago. The Highbury pitch, long renowned as one of the finest playing surfaces of the Geordie club in the table. And that's embarrassing for a team that did so well last season when they finished third. Arsenal in red and white, Newcastle in the famous black and white stripes, of course. Ray Parler, one of the uh, Old Trafford six, on to Keogh, another of them. Lehman, the goalkeeper, is also one of ours being charged with every game since he came from Borussia Dortmund, replacing David Seaman, who's now at Manchester City. Lehman's clearance flicked on and then away by Hughes, playing it right back in this. Uh, Slightly reconstructed Newcastle team. Ben R, the left back, with a good interception. Dyer has turned back towards his own goal and inadvertently almost gave the ball away. Givens clearance, not too impressive. And Arsenal enjoying all the early possession here. Patrick Vieira for that. Good turn by Henri. And the pace as ever to go past people as though they weren't there. Oh, and a good save by Gibbon. It was an awkward ball. It was so uh, slow almost coming to him. And he expected from Will Torn a more firm shot. It never happened, and that could have easily unsettled the keeper. Almost a dramatic start here for Arsenal. And Newcastle have got to get a grip of things. Again, they've given it away to Jungberg this time. Now the England left-back Ashley Cole. This is uh, Gilberto and he almost lost out Keown in quickly on Alan Shearer and Given already earning his uh, money for the evening very important stop this it didn't look spectacular but this was going in and if it hadn't have gone in it would most surely have fallen straight to the feet of Wiltor terrific run down the left by the England fullback Cole Newcastle have a free kick and their first opportunity to threaten the Arsenal goal and the O'Brien has come forward in the side because of the injury to Jonathan Woodgate Laurent Robert will take the kick and the Frenchman's quite capable of hitting the target from here and very nearly did so a good header away by Keogh tough as they come and uh, perhaps the biggest offender in the aftermatch scenes at Old Trafford a week ago. First corner of the game to the visitor. Shearer waits to pounce. The first kick a little flat, too low, and rather easily cleared. Now, Olivier Bernard, the Frenchman. That's a poor ball. Keown's 
clearance. Henry out headed by Bramble, who should win most of the aerial battles tonight, certainly, but when the ball's at Henry's feet, and indeed will talk, it's a different matter. Lee Bowie was sent off playing here a couple of years ago in a very stormy game when he was at Leeds United. Confidence already evident from Newcastle's early play. They've only got two points more than Wolves, who are rock bottom. And indeed, of course, if they're beaten here, well, they could actually go bottom of the table tomorrow. Arsenal's free kick. Robbie Robson, incredibly, has come in for some criticism because of the start that Newcastle have made, how sure people's memories are. He has truly transformed this uh, great club from the trough of despair. They suffered under Rude Hullet near the bottom of the table and morale was so low. Very strange to think that anyone could uh, be critical of Sir Bobby's efforts. Shearer and that's not a bad ball Keown with an excellent interception to take it off the toe of Lee Bowyer now Henri for Arsenal brilliant turn of pace again there's no better player at running at speed with the ball there's Lauren Cameroon International now a fixture at right back the position occupied for so many years of course by Lee Dixon Will Torch showing that he's got a decent turn of pace as well now Jungberg suddenly opened up for the Swede Henri Lauren good football this Parler's cross Bramble beaten to it and back in again Will Torch couldn't control it Benar under pressure, it came off Ray Parler though in his attempt to uh, control it on his chest, he's only conceded the throw he's been a substitute for most of Arsenal's games this season but he's uh, in the side on merit at the moment a sloppy play again by Newcastle here's Jungbe with the through ball for Vieira Bramble's clearance on re shot and that's a possible offside and it is not very often that Patrick Vieira gets that far forward. Not exactly a renowned goal scorer, the Arsenal skipper. Arsene and Wenger, who have uh, celebrated seven years in charge here next week. And of course, the one statistic that everyone keeps repeating is that he's had 52 players sent off in that time. That's the negative side of it, but the positive side is that he has uh, made Arsenal into a major force, certainly in this country haven't quite cracked the European scene as yet but they are cited as uh, the great rivals for Manchester United every Premier League season and here's one of the main reasons why the brilliant Thierry Henry one of Wenger's many, many shrewd signings Barla, one of the few he inherited in fact Vieira Gilberto and now Lauren familiar situation this for Arsenal with the opposing side getting so many players back behind the ball they have to stay patient and pass their way through the opposition like this Carla well, doing well now the Brazilian Gilberto again oh what a lovely ball Silvan Wilto and the goalkeeper hesitated this time. Bramble finally hacks it away as Henri almost punished Newcastle for some very hesitant defending. The rain pouring heavily now in North London. And Boya trying to say, well, he, he slid accidentally into that tackle rather than maliciously. The referee partly believes him because no yellow card. But it is a free kick. Taken by Lauren. And a break on here. Great run 
running by Dyer and then by Boya out to the right. Bellamy took a good, good position as well, but Arsenal have it back. It was a promising moment for Newcastle that they weren't able to do anything with. Lauren now. Back the way. And uh, Genus <laughs> is almost dispossessed by his own player there, Dyer who's given it away anyway Jungberg, Cole to his left Ashley Cole's cross and that's been deflected for Arsenal's first corner and really they've been getting forward down that left hand side Ashley Cole in the opening 10 minutes here and it was that first surging run that could well have brought about the first Arsenal goal of the night Martin Keown who hasn't scored in the Premier League for over three years nonetheless a menacing presence for Henri's corner. Shearer it was who got it away on the near post. Very important player at both ends of the field for Newcastle. Shearer's team have drawn three of their five Premier League games so far, lost the other two. The draws came against Leeds and Everton away and uh, Bolton at home, they've been beaten by Manchester United at Old Trafford and Birmingham at St James's Park <laughs> O'Brien's clearance and Bellamy rather easily outwitted Vieira Warren helps it on to Parlat and they're packing away here Newcastle but it hit Henri rather than him making any deliberate effort. Nightmare the condition for the goalkeeper this. Both of them. Slippery pitch, slippery ball. And slippery customers like Alan Shearer trying to do his best to make a fool of Jens Lehmann at the other end. been much uh, rain in Britain for a long time yes I did make that statement but it looks as though uh, that's all changed here tonight Genus beaten to it but gets it back well yep disappointing ball by the former Leeds and West Ham man well, it looks as though the weather is making up for the uh, driest summer many many years and one of the driest on record in Britain and it's causing the players some problems a complete uh, accidental slip has given Newcastle possession again Genus is Dyer now Bellamy and back by Jungberg for Arsenal Patrick Vieira We'll talk. Great tackle. And Arsenal, dogged and persistent as ever. Get it back. Bellamy. You know, a good old scramble in the middle of the field has ended up with Arsenal getting a free kick. I must say I didn't see much wrong with the contribution of either player there, but Mr. Riley did. Free kick against Bellamy. The foul on Henri. Martin Keogh. Carla saw the opportunity to turn in field. Gilberto. And Vieira has given it away to Hughes. Foul by Ashley Cole. It's often been said that uh, no one doubts his attacking qualities. Defensively, there have been some question marks placed against the England man tonight we've certainly seen him at his best going forward he had his work cut out keeping an eye on uh, Pierre and Dyer being used on that right flank where he was against NEC Breda the Dutch club in midweek and it's a very good effect Norberto Solano who usually occupies that position is out injured Shearer's header at the other end awkward clearance today 
Certainly we're looking at two teams here who love to attack and who are much better going forward than they are defending. Henri. Just trying to tempt Hughes into the tackle and then cheekily played it straight against him. Still Henri. And still! Oh, what a magnificent run and shot by Thierry Henri. Good save. Still the danger hasn't gone for Newcastle. Here's Henri again. But not for long this time. Well, these conditions are adding an unexpected element to this match. It's been a very pacey opening here. Good interception by Lauren to deny Laurent Robert. almost the whole of the season that flicked off the heel of the defender as well so it was an even better save by Shea Gibbon and a good ball Lauren finding Will Tor well, they're hanging on Newcastle but it's about the size of it at the moment just hanging on O'Brien. And the curtain of rain almost obliterating some of the players out there. It's so heavy. Nice one to get a free kick. lost their title to Manchester United last season of course despite having an eight point lead at one stage uh, in fact as late as March they had that many points in hand but they only won four of their last nine games and they were overtaken as United went on to win the championship by five points Arsenal finishing runners up for the fourth time in five seasons champions on the other occasion underlining again Wenger's superb record Robert for Newcastle. He was asking a lot about Anshira. And off from Arsenal again. Cole, who just seemed to be limping a little bit there, just winced with pain when he played that ball out to the left of Jungberg. Could be an injury problem for him. And of course, they've lost so many defenders. Recently, Arsenal, they can do afford to lose another. Here's Vieira. Gilberto. Clever little triangle in the middle of the field as Arsenal try to tempt Newcastle forward, but uh, Newcastle's discipline has been excellent so far. Here's Henri. He can undo any kind of discipline defence. The back header took it away from Wiltor, but Paolo finds him and pulls straight across the goal by the Frenchman and in by Jungberg and away again. Well, they're really clinging on by their fingernails here. Jermaine Genus was the man who got it away and that was bound for goal, no question. Vieira, Paolo. Lauren, plenty of time for the cross. Sliced away and in by Henri, Bramble's mistake and Thierry Henri stolen on the far post to give Arsenal a richly deserved lead on 18 minutes at Highbury. Bramble doesn't need reminding that it was his mistake that set up the Frenchman but another superb move by Arsenal. Awful attempt at a clearance, would have been better letting it go straight across I think because it wrong-footed his goalkeeper apart from anything else and a young man who has not had the best of starts to his Newcastle career has made a crucial error there you do not want to make errors when this fella's lurking in the penalty box Thierry Henry gets his fifth goal of the season
Wilson, who started superbly here, deserved their lead. Meantime, Gary Lewin, their physio, just uh, administering some treatment there to Ashley Cole's right knee by the looks of it. I think he was actually off the field when they scored. Well, Newcastle can't really complain about the scoreline here because there were two, if not three, really good openings for Arsenal before that goal. Here's Boya. Yeah, well, you're making life difficult for the Arsenal skipper, who did brilliantly. And it's broken again to Thierry Henry. He loved these conditions with his pace flying forward. Just played it in slightly behind Will Tor. Well, he scored 24 Premier League goals last season from both the writers and the uh, professional footballers player of the year titles and looks set for another brilliant campaign Raymond's clearance was poor and Dyer and then from Newcastle a throw Cole still limping a little I just wonder whether they'll have to address that situation sooner rather than later Arsenal so they don't have uh, a specialist left back amongst their substitutes they have got Pascal Sigon a central defender so they could switch things around but they won't want to lose Cole Guinness for Newcastle Robert not seen much of the ball as yet, the Frenchman. And uh, he's got to do better when he gets it. Whoops. And Lehman slipped and you don't want to do that with Alan Shearer around. Shearer probably thought it was a straightforward catch, which it should have been. And uh, didn't follow in in his usual style. Well, Newcastle have been seriously unsettled by the start Arsenal have made here. Gotta get a grip of things. It is very strange, you know. We've started the season so badly, and Shearer is caught offside. He was superb in the previous campaign, Newcastle. As I mentioned, third place after being in the bottom half in four of the previous five seasons. It's their highest position since they were runners up six years earlier. Now by O'Brien. Riley finding in uh, Arsenal's favour almost midway through the first half of this Barclay card English Premier League fixture and an Arsenal lead by one goal to nil against Newcastle there's another injury problem for Arsenal now Patrick Vieira has just left the field briefly they hope uh, for treatment on what looks like a thigh injury and he's resumed his usual position theories given as to why Newcastle have made a poor start so Bobby Robson's own opinion is that maybe for a young and uh, reasonably experimental side success last season came too early and expectations were accordingly higher the likes of Bramble are still young men in the game, only 22 and only about his third season at this level These are amongst the most passionate of all football followers and they were expecting their team to push on from third place and possibly even challenge for the title this season. It's been a very different sort of start to what was expected. As we see again that horrendous miss kick by Bramble. Thierry Henry gambling at the far post, getting away from his marker and getting reward. talent he is challenged by Lauren has 
displeased referee Riley. Long ticking off for Laura, but uh, looks as though the referee is going to leave it at that. No card as yet. in the background there the uh, Brazilian Edu apparently ready to come on for Arsenal and it's Vieira's injury that's the worst of the two casualties him and uh, Ashley Cole both receiving treatment but it is Vieira who's got to come off and what a miserable week he's had sent off at Old Trafford and the subject of a lot of critical newspaper articles now taken off because of injury only 25 minutes into tonight's game and a very very capable replacement in Edu who makes his fourth appearance of the season all of them from the subs bench and confirmed as a thigh injury for the uh, and with the uh, European game on Tuesday in Moscow clearly they didn't want to take any risks especially having lost their first Champions League game so uh, heavily 3-0 here to Inter Milan Bellamy gets a good ball through there and there's danger and Robert's on hand and he's done it again he loves coming to this ground he had a wonderful game and scored two years ago when Newcastle beat Arsenal and he sent those Geordie fans into ecstasy again Laurent Robert gets an unexpected goal within seconds of Patrick Vieira's substitution lovely ball by Bellamy and the cutback found Robert ideally placed and he wasn't going to miss from there was he he also scored in the one all home draw against Arsenal at St James's Park last season so they really are his favourite opposition in more ways than one Big credit to Kieran Dyer for the ball back into the Frenchman. And Newcastle have had a, a fortunate break there. They're back in the game. And with Arsenal having lost arguably their most influential player as well. It's suddenly not looking quite such a comfortable night for the Gunners. belief now to Newcastle and they've made an important interception again the whistle's gone for a challenge the referee sees as a free kick well, you can always rely on Newcastle to get goals of course they scored 63 in the Premier League last season it's the Bobby Robson's team have always had problems defensively they conceded 48 in the previous campaign it was never going to be nil-nil this one the ball away and it was spotted by referee Riley and there's a little bit of a minor altercation in the middle of the field as Alberto looking after his fellow Brazilian with a few words well chosen I'm sure at Bellamy fiery character the number 10 for Newcastle the Welsh international and the Brazilians gang up on the Welshman to tell the referee exactly what happened good to see that he's just uh, telling people to calm down without flourishing yellow cards as Steve Bennett found it necessary to do at Old Trafford last week Newcastle's free kick for offside they also started badly last season by the way even though they went on to finish third they only took four out of the first 15 points uh, and I remember they were one place off the bottom just as they are now in mid-September so it's a bit of deja vu for Newcastle this season 
But if they can get anything out of this fixture, it really would be just the shot in the arm they need. Hughes. Genus. Back to O'Brien. Not the worst ball that. Well defended by Arsenal. It's a real hurry-scurry game in the middle of, of the field. And suddenly space opens up for Will Tor at the other end, and the goalkeeper could have seen that deflected over his head. He kept his eyes on the ball throughout. Well there. Well, he has lost out. Parler. Well, this slick surface now due to the rain is really making the ball travel quickly. And Gilberto loses possession. Dyer. Bellamy with him. And here he is. Giving it to Hughes. Good ball down the line. Robert switched from the left to the right, but not too successfully. minutes to half time at Highbury Arsenal 1 Newcastle 1 Arsenal had a terrific home record in the Premier League last season they won 15 of their 19 home games Blackburn Rovers and Leeds United the only teams to win here Liverpool and Manchester United both drew at Highbury and everyone else is put to the sword in some style usually strange thing that uh, from the moment Patrick Vieira left the field it seemed Newcastle gained confidence seconds later they scored of course Gary Speed amongst the uh, substitutes tonight would love to be out there I'm sure Robert and gets it back cleverly from Genus oh I tell you what Shearer was unmarked in space there they might still find him. Dyer. Good strong run again by Kieran Dyer. And he's earned his team a corner. Seems to be reveling in the uh, space he's finding, the extra space out there on the right. corner really belted it from one side of the field to the other it's gone straight out on the other side for a goal kick what a strange kick that was mm -hmm. wasteful if they do manage a draw tonight Newcastle will move up a couple of places on goal difference if they were to go on and win this then Sir Bobby Robson's team would actually move up seven places in the league to 12th at least until tomorrow, of course, when the majority of Premier League fixtures are played. This uh, brought forward to the Friday at Arsenal's request because they have a long trip to Moscow and an early kickoff in the Champions League on Tuesday. And Newcastle somewhat surprisingly agreed. I say surprisingly in view of the fact that they played, remember, only 48 hours ago. Strong clearance by Gibbon. <laughs> Playing for a bit of divine intervention, perhaps. Arsene Wenger. And Snorty, his team have just uh, lost their rhythm after a very bright start. No foul given. Challenge on Jungberg. Here's Bellamy taking on Cole. Two players with real pace. That'll be a fascinating battle. 
Bellamy playing his third game in seven days after so many knee problems. He's had five operations on his dodgy knee already, even though he's uh, only in his early 20s. Jungberg still complaining about the tackle on him moments earlier. You better get on with the game because there's a dangerous ball. And Lawrence had to head behind for a corner. <laughs> Much better effort this time. With really real pace and precision. And uh, man header away by the Brazilian Edu. Finds himself in a bit of a corner, quite literally, and it's been kept in play, has it? No, this is gone. Maguire's energy really bringing Newcastle back into the picture here. Overall, Arsenal, as you'd expect, have had most of the possession. But certainly, I think the uh, trend has changed over the last few minutes. And how, look at those figures, 71% over the last five minutes in Newcastle's favour. Dyer to Bellamy. And he's done well, Bellamy, and Bernard menacingly in a good position here. And Lehman really had to get his body behind that ball with a skiddy surface. That could easily have embarrassed him. He hasn't scored many goals, the Frenchman, in his Newcastle career. Arsenal just lost a little bit of the uh, plot here. There's one man who can find it again. It's Henri, who was knocked over there. To the dismay of the home fans, no free kick given. Here's Robert. And now Kier and Dyer, who's really reveling in the action out there tonight, does brilliantly again. Oh, what a turnaround. There's no sign of this revival in the first, what, 15 minutes, 20 minutes even. Newcastle have got a free kick. And Bramble atoned for his earlier error. He scored his first ever goal for the club in midweek against NEC Breda. Robert. I'm not quite sure what he was going for there. But he got it wrong. Rather like the earlier corner. Good play by Bernard. That's good enough to take an extra touch and it didn't seem necessary, but he knew what he was doing. And an offside decision. Henry can't believe it's him. Newcastle won 69 points last season. There were nine adrift of Arsenal. Well, but crucially, two points ahead of Chelsea and went into the Champions League qualifying competition where they were very disappointingly dumped out by Partizan Belgrade despite having won the away leg in Belgrade. They expected to be in the Champions League, they planned for it, budgeted for it and that was the first major disappointment of this new season for them. Gene is taking a bit of a risk and he was very happy to hear the whistle go, far by Edu. One of the young men in this squad learning the game and uh, you'd have learned a lesson there. You can't take liberties against top Brazilians and I'm not sure at all what that decision's been given for, I must say. Definitely puzzling everyone with that one and angering Shearer. a game of it here Newcastle and Arsenal have so far not really picked up the pace by way of a response and they keep getting caught offside Wiltor this time 
and <laughs> the appealing shrug from Henri, but nonetheless, it's the fifth offside decision. And well, on the basis of that picture, yeah, I thought he was not in shot at the time, but he certainly was offside. Hughes just pushing up in the nick of time. Bramble's free kick. Shearer's header. Just in behind Bellamy. Now Lauren. Benar. Now by Parla. Giving away too many free kicks at the moment, Arsenal. That's not helping the flow of their game. O'Brien. Neat layoff by Dyer to Genus. Shearer out on the right. Cross easily dealt with by Lauren. And Shearer back to win the loose ball in midfield. They've played really well in the last 15 minutes or so, Newcastle. Visiting teams always expect Arsenal to come out guns blazing and they never let them down. That's exactly what happened here tonight. And of course, well, they scored a goal in that spell. But since then, Newcastle have given every much, uh, every bit as they've taken, really. And the game is very evenly poised at 1 1. Five minutes of the half remaining. Loose ball by Bernard. It's Henri pursuing it. And of course, Henri uh, had to just walk away, otherwise, he would have been offside. Newcastle certainly learned the winning habit last season. They were in the top four from New Year's Day onwards. And he actually briefly led the table in January. So the situation that they could find themselves in at the bottom is not one they'd be happy with for obvious reasons. But at the moment, they're not thinking about that. They're taking the game to Arsenal splendidly. But now the chance of a counter-attack led by Parler and the magnificent Thierry Henry. Bramble intercepts. Edu. And they're uh, being encouraged by the crowd to go forward. Ashley Cole. And uh, leaves it this time to Gilberto on to Parla. And space on the right now for Lauren. Good cross. Cole has kept it in play. Splendidly using the full width of the pitch here, Arsenal. This is much more like the way they started the game. Gilberto. Oh, clever play by Gilberto. That's brilliant. Will talk. Wonderful football. Terrific movement. So much to admire in the Arsenal build-up here, but couldn't produce the finish. What about that from uh, the Brazilian Gilberto? Polo Toure actually started his career in that position. Many now regard him as either a midfield player or he's played quite a few games at right back for Arsenal, but he did start as a central defender. there about the positioning of the ball for the free kick right. really meaty 
challenge there between Paolo and Bernard, both players arguing that the throw should have gone their way, it's gone Arsenal's. They worked really hard to get themselves back into this game, Newcastle, very important, they concentrate hard now with the half-time whistle so close. Shearer closing down his old uh, England colleague, Martin Keown, as Sir Bobby Robson prepares in his mind his half-time speech to the troops. And Keown and Dyer and Co. make it an easier speech for him, I wonder. Shearer missed the header this time. Harlow, on with space to attack, a little bit too early. Haven't seen too much of Lebo yet in this first half. A great turn by Henri! Well, whenever he gets the ball. You expect something special, and he usually delivers. And as we enter the first minute, well, the only minute, in fact, of stoppage time, Henri close to restoring the lead for Arsenal. It's been an entertaining half of football here. Certainly the early stages dominated by Arsenal, but Newcastle really fought back into the game. And they might have a problem here. Benar slips as he tried to clear. And the half-time whistle has gone. And this incidentally is his 100th Premier League match for the Gunners. Newcastle United will get the second half underway. They used to have something of a fixation about playing in London they had an appalling record in the capital they went something like 28 29 matches without recording a single win till they came to Highbury two years ago that game was also under the lights an evening match uh, and they won 3-1 that night Laurent Robert scored then he scored here tonight will it be a case of history repeating itself I wonder Givens clearance towards Alan Shearer who netted a penalty for Arsenal uh, for Newcastle rather at the end that uh, they are attacking in this second half so the omens are good if you're a Geordie they are still waiting remember for their first league victory of the season and Arsenal have not lost a game yet in the Premier League Gunners took an amazing 47 out of 57 points on their own ground last season and scored 47 goals in those games, let in only 20. Really wonderful statistics. One ball by Gilberto, all the way by O'Brien, and yet another offside decision. There have been too many of them from Arsenal's point of view tonight, that's for sure. There, Pires sits and waits and wonders if he might be called upon. One of the very talented Arsenal subs bench tonight. And already on the field, of course, Adu will replace the injured Vieira. Pires did score on that uh, Tuesday evening match against Newcastle a couple of years ago. Shearer's header on. Really had a sniff of a goal scoring opportunity as yet Alan Shearer, Shearer but his very presence is so important for Newcastle and here he is again winning another header Harlow for Arsenal Keown took a risk there against the nippy Bellamy he played himself out of trouble very cleverly now Jungberg Bonnet has got through so much work here tonight. He's been outstanding for Newcastle. Bonnet 
Hazard trying to come out with the ball. And Henri takes over. Splendid pass as well. Nice little layoff as well. By Parla. Here he is. Flowing as they were early on, Arsenal, there's no question about that. Aaron Dyer hasn't stopped running tonight. Genus. Oh, you're in the middle of the field. O'Brien at the back. Edu. An old Brazilian heart to the Arsenal midfield. With a splendid ball, and the goalkeeper had to come there and did so very impressively. We better get rid of it now, though. Could be taking his time before finally giving it straight back to Arsenal. Misunderstanding between Gilberto and Lauren. Very timely interception at the other end by Shea Given, who stayed very calm, where many goalkeepers tend to panic in those situations. Hughes players from both sides working so hard to win back possession and there's a lovely ball for Youngberg oh how unlucky can you get Freddie Youngberg denied by the thickness of the post and Arsenal very unfortunate not to be back in the lead here but at the other end they've got defending to do Bellamy running at them and then trying to pick out the far corner But the Swede was so unfortunate here. There was a slip by O'Brien that let him in. He cleverly lifted it over goalkeeper Given, only to see it rebound back off the post. Five minutes into the second half. And Arsenal, unfortunate not to be in the lead again. in front of their travelling fans Robert takes Newcastle's corner and it almost sneaked through there on the near post Van Lundberg has contributed a lot of goals to Arsenal's successes in recent years got nine goals last season 12 the year before when they won the title and obviously Pascal Sigon the French central defender is ready to come on here. And Gilberto wins it back for Arsenal. Luto takes it forward. Henri. And again, Thierry Henri lets it run to Gilberto this time. Lauren. Good ball in towards Henri and Randall forces it behind for a corner. Ashley Cole is the player who's still struggling. You might remember in the first half he got a bang on the knee. He seemed to have recovered, but it's obviously uh, come back again, the problem. And he will be substituted. And in his place, the former Lille player Pascal Sigon who had a lot of first team action for Arsenal last season but has been on the fringes rather this season and the England coach Sven Joran Eriksson will certainly be concerned about the loss of his first choice left back we'll talk by Wiltor and has led to a Newcastle free kick in a position where they probably would rather have just gone out for a goal kick Seagon a central defender so they might have to just switch things around there but the back Arsenal yet again of course they've been so disrupted in that department and there was a time of course when you could read off every single one of the Arsenal defenders almost like reading the alphabet in the days of uh, Seaman and Dixon and Winterburn and Adams and Keown, not anymore. They seem to change week in, week out these days. Ray Parler. Clever turn again. And Henri ran into trouble, but uh, the 
Here Sin is with a foul. Seemed a bit harsh. And the crowd trying to give Arsenal that little extra lift here. Keown has gone forward. Henri and Edu, the two players over the ball. The left-footed Brazilian will fancy this one. And no wonder we uh, got some real power and pace behind it. Direction just slightly off. Clever ball moments earlier to set Jungberg free. And they were on their feet behind the goal, celebrating what they thought was going to be Arsenal's second goal of the match. One goal so far this season, Freddie Jungberg. And Brian stabbing it forward for Bellamy, who's been quiet tonight, really. I'm not sure whether the knee problem is affecting him after so many games in a short space of time. A wild challenge there by Ray Parler, he's got away with it. Jermaine Genus on to Kieran Dyer. Hughes. Poor cross from the, from the Northern Ireland International, Aaron Hughes. And Arsenal got straight back into the action. This is Parler. It's a good ball for Henri. Up against Titus Bramble, the former Ipswich Town player. Might shake him off. And that's good persistent play by Newcastle. And then a sloppy ball by a very disappointing Lee Bowyer. He's just not found his form since he went to Newcastle. Bellamy uh, thought that was uh, a dive, clearly, from his reaction. Arsenal keep possession anyway. Ten minutes into the second half. And they have it back. The visitors with Laurent Robert, their goal scorer. Bellamy. Back again to the Frenchman. He's got a point to prove, Robert, because he's been censured by the club for comments he made in uh, on his personal website. You can never, never imagine Alan Shearer doing such a thing. Arsenal's throw. Arsenal, awesome. the Premier League's top scorers, remember last season, they scored 85. And amazingly, they've actually managed at least one goal in 80 of their last 83 league games. Didn't go for that, loses out. Dyer. Facing the wrong way, so he did the sensible thing. Back to Andy O'Brien. Well, I'm sure Newcastle would regard a point as a very, very good result here, just to get some of his team back on track again. It's his fifth season in charge of Newcastle. And you have to keep reminding yourself he's 70. Granddad. Great play again by Henri. Absolutely outstanding he's been again tonight. This is Parler. Thierry Henry. Blocked by O'Brien. And Newcastle's tormentor there again. Bernard at full stretch. Jungberg for Arsenal. And a good little spell again here, the home side. Gilberto. Couldn't fish that one out of the sky. Push there on Shira by Sihon. So 
so clever at winning free kicks physical player who knows the right time to go down of course as well and his combination with uh, Bellamy has been a big part of Newcastle's success in the last couple of years but it's still a long long time since the Geordie club won a trophy almost 50 years now the FA Cup way back in the mid 1950s Shearer flicks it on to Bellum. A good layoff to Robert. Referee got in the way there. Couldn't allow Bowie onto the ball and they could pay a heavy price for that. Will Tor. He's only got Henri up with him at the moment. But suddenly arriving was Parler. Good tackle. And back to Robert. Bellamy's flick. And offside. player should be reasonably comfortable in that role and he replaced Ashley Cole poor distribution by Arsenal well there and now Bellamy good challenge by Edu Gilberto quick change of pace by the Brazilian Henri's offside A very uh, expressive character, Thierry Henry. <laughs> Robert Pires is about to join the action just to provide a further French problem as far as Newcastle are concerned. So much attacking talent at Arsenal that uh, even the likes of Pires has had to sit it out more than once this season. But it looks like he's going to get his opportunity now. They don't lack players going forward at Arsenal. What they do lack at the moment is defenders, of course. Sol Campbell on compassionate leave, his father tragically died of heart failure. He was buried only yesterday. Ashley Cole has now gone off injured. Fizzing about here in the middle of the field. Robert. Bernard. And gets it back from Robert. Good spell now for Newcastle. It's been that sort of game where each team has had little periods of possession, but now they've given theirs away. Perez about to come on, and the man he'll replace, Ray Parler, so they've uh, taken off a tough midfield player who does get forward with an out-and-out -out attacker, and judging by the response of the crowd, they're not too pleased to see Parler being taken off. It's not properly away though. And now Henri has pulled up with an injury. The ball was smashed at him from close range. takes the opportunity to uh, get some fluid on board finally a right to continue
Gibbons, huge kick, Shearer following it all the way. Away by Toure, only as far as Genus and now Boya. Good ball that down the line, it just bounced out, but uh, the creation was excellent, even if the delivery was not quite spot on. So Arsenal got their three from the French attack now, of Henri, Wiltor and Pires. Uh, so Bobby comes down from the director's box to the touchline to direct operations his 36th year in management this is another capacity crowd of just over 38,000 inside Highbury every match of course is full here that's why they want to move still having problems finding the finances for their new stadium Just a little over 25 minutes remaining in this Barclay Card English Premier League match. Arsenal won, Newcastle won. Arsenal took the lead through Thierry Henry. And another Frenchman, Laurent Robert, equalised for Newcastle. There's another Frenchman, Sigon, about to deliver the long throw. Shearer back in his own half, nothing's been given. Keown's clearance. It's gone straight to Bernard. And a good ball on from Gilberto. Greenberg now operating down the right hand side where Parler had originally Robert's challenge, and it looks as though the referee might be reaching for a card by the uh, Newcastle winger here. Even kept his guards firmly in his pocket so far. He decided that that was worthy of a caution and uh, you have to say I'm sure he was right <laughs> sent off at uh, Everton a couple of weeks ago on Robert and he's got to tread carefully from here on in having trodden all over Jungberg <laughs> around the ankle and uh, if there's any problem here then Arsenal and Arsene Wenger certainly have got a problem because remember they've already used their permitted trio of substitutes Vieira had to go off early on Adu took his place then Ashley Cole had to go off Sigon coming on for him and then a voluntary substitution if you like with Pires replacing Ray Parler, but it looks like a problem here for Jungberg. So they might just have to face the rest of this game with 10 men. And not only that, they can face the rest of the game with a lead, or at least the next few minutes. Gilberto stealing in when Newcastle were flat footed and had lost concentration. His first ever goal in the Premier League and his first ever goal here at Highbury. Just when things were looking grim for the Gunners, they hit back with a goal. Bit of shirt pulling going on, but you expect that these days. And Gilberto is free of all the hassle to head home for the first time in a Premier League fixture. Scored a couple in cup ties. And another offside decision here. Very relieved Arsene Wenger is still waiting to find out whether Freddie Jungberg can continue here. So the goal could not have come at a better moment in that respect. Just what Arsenal needed. Especially if they have to play on here with only 10 men. He's coming back for the moment, but uh, you can see for yourself how painful it is for the Swede. <laughs> it 
just what he didn't need. He gets possession straight away and then gets fouled straight away. Well, in the old days, before substitutions were allowed, when players got injured and stayed on, they used to say they were there simply for nuisance value. Uh, I'm not sure how much of a nuisance he can prove to be hobbling at the moment, but we shall see. As long as he doesn't do further damage to the injury, it's better than having ten men, obviously. with a free kick 20 minutes to go and the previous free kick led to a goal and Henri has got one again Thunder shot back in and if Gibbon hadn't been in the right place then Woodsword would have scored a really spectacular effort really struck that with venom and Gibbon just happened to be standing exactly where he should have been. Can Newcastle get back into this game again? Well, they've got to keep believing because uh, they did so in the first half and the flow of the game was certainly going against them. But at the moment, Arsenal are flying. Savoli will think about making a positive substitution himself now while well, Gary Speed clearly is about to come on Pires it's a good ball by Pires and Henri dispossessed right on the edge of the box I thought perhaps we might see uh, for instance uh, Shoulder Amiobi come on for Newcastle or maybe we will eventually but it's clearly Gary Speed who will be introduced first run by Olivier Ben oh, oh what a finish by the Frenchman superb goal and Newcastle have come back it's the French connection tonight all right what a wonderful strike by the fullback he doesn't get many goals when he does score them they're nearly always spectacular beautiful incisive ball and he did the rest under a shot 2-2 two -two. game on again well that was a beauty and one worthy of getting something out of the game from Newcastle's point of view and at the same time they are making a change now and Lee Boyap who's not had a good night let's be honest is about to be replaced by Gary Speed I was a little surprised that Speed was left out in the first place so Bobby Robson's a huge fan of the uh, experienced Welsh international and nearly always selects him in his starting lineup he went for that more youthful combination of Dyer uh, and Genus but now Speed is on to add his experience to the mix Pires Jungberg has had to go off again for more treatment on that ankle problem so at least for the moment Arsenal are down to 10 and I do wonder if they're going to have to take him off because if he sustains further damage then uh, obviously it will be pointless sending him out there succession have really lifted the uh, crowd here at both ends of the stadium Newcastle have got a very vocal support behind the goal they're attacking now with Alan Shearer who's got away from his man and a splendid ball in Lehman at full stretch to get it clear here's Robert 
good block. Arsenal throwing bodies at the ball. And yet another injury problem on this troubled night for the Gunners. It's Keown this time. And I think that's Bellamy who's uh, down and out from Newcastle as well. Another defender has to uh, join the casualty list and high rate. They really are going to be in trouble for all the games coming up. That's how uh, Bellamy hit the deck. Accidental elbow, I'm sure, by Lehman, the goalkeeper, as he had his eyes on the ball going for the cross. And Freddie Youngberg limps back over the touchline. He's not too happy with life. And Arsenal are not too happy with the scoreline here. Briefly, Gilberto regained their lead with that fine header. Unchallenged, really. Poor marking. But a couple of minutes later, that wonderful finish by Bernard, the third Frenchman on the score sheet tonight, after Henri and Robert. Keon's had to go off to continue his treatment and there's going to be a fair amount of stoppage time tonight as the England defender returns with Bellamy. Great layoff. We're squeezing up here, and Gary Speed accepts the uh, space in behind. Laurent well, Rivet. This game back in the balance. And you wouldn't like to predict which way it'll go at the moment. Dyer. Showing a great spirit tonight, Newcastle. They've got themselves a free kick here. And you certainly wouldn't rule them out uh, going on to win this. If they produce many more performances like this, they're not going to be down at the bottom for long, Newcastle, that's for sure. Andy O'Brien, who scored in the 2-3-1 uh, win here two years ago, trying to do so again. Just about 30 yards from goal. And a pretty clear view of it they've given Robert. I hope... Uh, Jens Lehmann knows what he's doing, setting up the wall here. Well, the shot, fortunately, for him and Arsenal was off target. And it's not Ami Obi who's going to be introduced, not for the moment anyway, but the youngster Darren Ambrose for Newcastle. Made his home debut as a substitute in the last 15 minutes against NAC Breda in midweek. And actually scored. Here's Pires. Which we went round in circles. And an opportunity for Toure to get forward. Seagull. Good football, this. Oof. Dear me, I don't know what on earth Grandy was thinking of then. To me, the ball was travelling out of uh, play, or certainly out of danger. And Bramble came careering in to totally unnecessarily concede a free kick. And as many you will be furious if this leads to something. won't be too happy with him either and he takes it looking for the far post and given got some difficulty clawing it behind corner <laughs> he has to lead on corners they're all level on goals 
Oof. There was a claim for handball there, and I think it's been given. Jermaine Genus gets off the ground to realise that the referee saw what he considered to be a deliberate handball, and no matter how long and hard these Newcastle players protest, the referee is not going to change his mind. Oh, yes. What was he thinking of? His teammates are claiming he was nudged into the ball, but I don't think he's got a case. And Mr. Riley, I'm sure, will remain steadfast. And one assumes Miss Shaw Henri will step up to the spot with the opportunity to give Arsenal the lead again for the third time in the game. Here he is. Oh, cheeky, audacious, outrageous. But a goal. Only he would have the confidence to take a penalty like that. Remember, he missed his last one against Inter Milan. But that is 13 out of 16 that he has successfully converted for Arsenal. None, I would wager, quite as audacious as that one. Oh, great if it comes off. If Shea Given had stood his ground, it would have gently dropped into his arms. Ten minutes to go. Henri's second of the night. Arsenal lead. 3-2, Jermaine Genus has made a very costly error. Newcastle are desperately trying to make a substitution here, and now they will. Looks like Robert is going off to be replaced by uh, Ambrose. He's had a decent game, Robert, but we haven't seen much of him in this second half. And the England under-21 player, Darren Ambrose, comes on. He has a happy knack of getting goals from time to time as he showed on his home debut his Premier League debut was on this ground for Ipswich here come Arsenal again in full flow Henry on a hat-trick now and going the difficult route and almost finding a way through home fans are furious they think they should have had a free kick there speed well, is it possible for Newcastle to come back for a third time in this intriguing game great run by Dyer well, that was a foul wasn't it and finally the whistle has gone Very unhappy with the referee. But they were very happy with him a couple of minutes ago when he gave the penalty. Into the final ten minutes of this Barclay Card English Premier League fixture. 3-2 to the home side. And the header across. And Shearer almost picked out O'Brien. Back in it goes again and no offside and that was a splendid opportunity for an equalising goal while offside has been given let's have another look at that well it was the right decision wasn't it even though the flag was a little late it wasn't the uh, wasn't the player who had the opportunity who was offside the youngster Ambrose who just come on he was onside I think when the ball was played but there was at least one other Newcastle player in an offside position. Well, it's Ambrose back to head out for a throw at the other end. Newcastle haven't won in their last five League and Cup games against Arsenal since that 3-1 win here two years ago. There's the capital curse about to strike again here. They thought they got rid of it. And it's come back with a vengeance tonight. A game in which they've made a massive contribution to the entertainment value. 
looks to be slipping away from them. Benar. And O'Brien. And to Genus, he's got something to do now to prove a point, having needlessly conceded the penalty kick. O'Brien. She was lurking in a forward position as Ambrose battles to win it back. Off Will Tor. Well, how often has Shearer come to Newcastle's rescue in the dying minutes of matches? And he do so again. And will Arsenal maintain their unbeaten start? to the Premier League season. If they do, Newcastle could well find themselves bottom of the table by tomorrow. And the line by Seagull, one back in midfield by Perez, and he's done well here to lose his man. Seagull. Inevitably getting stretched now the game as Newcastle have to go in search of another goal. An equaliser. Dyer. And Newcastle's best player without doubt. And then Bernard gives it away. Gary Speed sliding in to win it back. And the ball still fizzing around on this wet top. No offside this time. Thierry Henry slows it down. Five minutes to go. He knew what he was doing. It's all about keeping possession now for Arsenal. Well, I guess with the uh, two leaky defences on view tonight, it was always going to be a high-scoring contest. The only question was what the final score would be, and that question still remains as Seagon makes an error. Hughes. Harry Speed. Now Benar. He's given it away again. And Seagon almost run into trouble and now he's given it away Ambrose it's not a bad ball for Bellamy Shearer's in behind him Genus Dyer Shearer wanted it right edge of the box but there was no way through but still Newcastle fight for possession Gary Speed Exciting finale here at Highbury. And here's the man you'd want if you are trying to hold on to a slender lead. Here's the man you want in possession. Brilliant. Well, he's giving it away in the end, but he just bought valuable time for Arsenal there. The crowd appreciate his uh, contribution. Dyer has not been given. And remember Newcastle did score a late goal here a couple of years ago, but that was to seal their win at 3-1. Now they need one to save a point. Perez has it back for Arsenal. One final throw of the dice perhaps for Newcastle, who seem to be about to bring on Shola Amiobi, their England under-21 striker. Gone. Well, Lundberg is literally, I've forgotten about him, <laughs> because he's done nothing other than around out there. He's still there though, he's kept the uh, Arsenal's complement of players up to 11, but he is almost a spectator. So a worrying crop of injuries for Arsenal going into a big week for them. And Liverpool away uh, next week and uh, in between match against Lokomotiv Moscow. So 
Oh, very important psychologically. They hold on for all the points here. As Gary Speed plays one end, Shearer wins the header, but it's gone wide. And Jermaine Genus, who gave away the penalty that might well give Arsenal victory, is taken off. Why on earth he did it, only he will know. Well, they're uh, supposed to be clamping down on encroachment these days. There must have been about ten players in the box as Henri actually chipped it in and he's still trying to explain his weird response in handling the ball as Amiobi has taken his place in the middle. So they've taken off a midfield player, put on an out-and-out -out attacker as they go for broke now in the final minute. There will be, I remind you, I would think, substantial stoppage time because of all the injury problems in particular Arsenal have suffered. We could well be looking at three or four minutes of that. Bramble. Away by Andre, and what a good header. Pires is all on his own in terms of Arsenal players. And he's done just what he would have wanted. He's won a free kick. Henri, once again, he'll run the ball into the corner. So it infuriates well, from the other side, of course. And we usually end up getting something out of this. Not in this occasion, but he's there to win it back. Pires. Three minutes it will be of stoppage time. Not that generous when you think uh, they're supposed to allow something like 20 odd seconds per substitution. There have been a few of them. There have been injuries as well. I wouldn't think Sir Bobby will be too pleased to see three minutes when he might have been expecting more, but what can they do with the time that remains? As Bramble pumps it in too long. Well by Olo Ture. Pires. Henri. times he got given the ball away since he came on and had a very nervy 20 minutes or so since replacing Ashley Cole and we failed to keep that on the pitch but just about everything else he's done tonight has been magic It's not very often here at Highbury that you see Arsenal clinging on for the win, but that's what's happening at the moment. This has gone. Foul given against Newcastle United. Campbell complains, but uh, won't get him anywhere. And a quiet night for Alan Shearer for once. And it looks as though Newcastle are going to be left still awaiting their first league victory of the season. Here is. Trying to flick it back to Henri who complains about his uh, carelessness. Shira wins a header at the other end and then a foul by Amiobi. Frustration for Sir Bobby Robson and indeed I'm sure he'll have a word to say to Jermaine Genius about his inexplicable error. <laughs> Arsenal on the verge of going four points clear at the top of the Premier League at least until tomorrow when Chelsea Play Aston Villa, and Manchester United are away to Leicester. Speed pumps it in, maybe for the final time, and it's gone out for a goal kick. Greeted almost like the final whistle by the home fans. But I think they realise that's just about it now. 
Arsenal are almost home, if not dry, on this rainy evening in North London. And Newcastle, well, their problems continue. They've played pretty well tonight in many respects, but they've made crucial and foolish errors. Rambles for the first goal. Genus for the penalty that won it. Wenger celebrates at the end of a trying week for him and Arsenal. Genus's handball gifted them a win. Two goals by Henri and Arsenal.